When a crisis hits, you suddenly become very aware of the plants around you that you have in your home that you can't eat. And we're in one of the strictest lockdowns around the planet and we only have access to the supermarket. I did not have time to buy some seeds, but I thought now would be a good time to actually study up a little bit on how to grow your own vegetables, even if we just sprout and germinate and create some seedlings for later. So here I prepared the utensils that we're going to use. And then let's start with the cherry tomatoes. Cut them up and then carefully transfer the seeds into a little bowl. Wash it with a little bit of water and then leave overnight. Now the radishes are a little bit more experimental but I wanted to try out if it works. So try to have the right polarity so that you're pointing up when you put them in water and stay away from the ones that have been pre-cut in the store so this one might not sprout. Cut up some toothpicks and then give the radishes little wings and place them in small containers. Cover the lower third with water and put into a sunny spot like a windowsill. Next the sugar snap peas and we're gonna try harvest the seeds from inside the pots. For this I prepared a piece of kitchen towel that I pre-folded for a Ziploc bag. And now we're gonna harvest all of these seeds, distribute them nicely on the kitchen towel, moisten, then cover up and spray some more with water, maneuver them into the bag and then give it like an extra few spritzes of water and put in a sunny place. Don't forget to label with the date so that you can follow the seeds up on from yesterday. Success. You can see how the seeds are slowly separating from the surrounding fruit flesh. And this, we had some food in this that's from the supermarket. So I kept it to try and scratch up some soil from outside. I'm going to do that. And then you're going to need a little bit of cling wrap to cover it. Okay, now you can see the tray is filled and I made like three rows round about like a half an inch deep. I'm going to transfer the seeds with a small spoon to go along here. I'm done distributing the tomato seeds in the rows, but you can see that at the moment they're way too dense. So this is something I'll have to correct later. And I'm also assuming that not all of the seeds are going to germinate. So now I'm just going to lightly cover it up with half an inch of soil or maybe even a little bit less. Now all that's left to do is to moisten it and then to cover it with cling wrap. So let's do that now. This is a butternut squash that I got from the supermarket and I made soup from it a couple days ago but I saved the seeds that are underneath here. I soak them in water for 24 hours and then I use the paper towel method to germinate them in a Ziploc bag. And you can see here, these are almost ready to come out. So I think I'm going to transfer them today just to make sure. You can see, wow, they actually look pretty amazing. I found these that don't look too good, so they need to be removed. See with the length of the root, they're so fragile that I actually had to tear up the kitchen towel. I finished sorting them and you can see that I look quite impressive for, I repeat, only four days old. I accidentally nicked this one, so that's sad. Then there's moldy ones, and there's the ones who didn't sprout or might have been cut accidentally, and the ones who just had very, very little roots. So I'm gonna be putting soil in here or dirt from outside, and then I'll slowly plant them in there. You can see how the leaf is already coming out. That's really mature for four days. Okay, and we're ready to plant this little one. And that's the first one way to go okay that's done now we're just gonna quickly make sure they're all nice and moist and then we'll place them on the windowsill now this is how the final result looks like of our work today and now is the perfect time to practice your germinating you should see results in 10 to 14 days